everyone, this is Selena Krause and welcome to another LDRS creative card video. For today's project, we'll, go, uh, we'll use the new Mermaid Treasure stamp set along with Under the Sea stencil. So here's the stamp set. There are three main uh, large images of Mermaid. There are a bunch of sentiments and other little images like algae and um, shells. Also it comes with coordinating dice and here is under the sea stencil. I've already used it so you can see some ink residue on it. So we're gonna do some masking to do the stenciling because we're gonna use multiple colors. So let's get started first with the stenciling part. I'm using uh, light blue cardstock and I had already sprayed my uh, stencil with stencil uh, adhesive uh, that's removable. So let's get uh, started. I'm using Valley Blue and Marina Madness to stencil the ocean on top and I'm using some post-it tape to mask parts of the stencil so the ink doesn't go there. So I'm using my blending brushes and I'm starting with a darker ink which is the Valley Blue on top and then for the second part of that just waved I'll use the Marina Madness. I went with light blue cardstock to represent the ocean. So um, we already have background instead of being all white. So I'm just um, blending those colors in, uh, making sure I have nice transition between the two colors. And that my cardstock is nice and saturated with ink. So next I'll just um, move those post-it notes, a post-it tape, and I'll mask off uh, the bubbles. And next I'm using Tropical C to uh, apply ink to that part of the stencil. Also I'm adding some on the waves on the top. So now we can move to the next part. We're going to move to the fish. And for the fish I decided to use boysenberry bliss along with the ballet blue to have like kind of two-tone like the fish on the front they'll be uh, just purple the ones on the back will be a little bit darker after I apply that uh, ballet blue so you can see here I apply and then I just remove that and now I'm stenciling all the parts along the bottom of the stencil with all the algae and I'm using Prickled Pear Perfection and Four Leaf to um, ink blend uh, the algae. So I'm going with the lighter first and then um, I'll apply the darker towards the bottom. So the top of the algae will be lighter than the bottom. I'm just ink blending that, making sure that I have nice coverage. Next I'll go with the four leaf ink and apply some ink on the bottom. So after I apply ink on the bottom, I'll go again with the lighter ink, the prickle, prickly pear perfection to make sure that we have nice transition and blend it in to make sure that we have nice transition between the two colors. So now we are done with the background. I'll ab apply some glossy accents like lacquer pen onto the bubbles for a little bit extra interest and I'll set it aside to dry. So next uh, we'll move to the image part. I'm using white cardstock. The hybrid ink, the Raven hybrid ink, and I'm stamping that mermaid using my stamp positioning tool a few times to make sure that I have nice coverage. Once we have that stamped, uh, we can take the coordinating die and die cut that. So with magic of YouTube, I've already die cut and next we can move on to coloring the image. I'm using colors that coordinate with my background, so I'm using purples and teal blue 
and then skin color um, alcohol based markers. I'm gonna speed it up here so I'm just doing some basic coloring with the purples and uh, some basic ink blending. I decided the hair, the bottom of the tail and that um, waist to be purple and just the bottom of the mermaid to be teal blue. Kind of finishing the hair here. Next we're going to color the top and the bottom of the mermaid, the face, gonna color the little shell in her hair. I just added a little texture with um, light brown ink. Next I'm adding some details with white gel pen. So we have the mermaid now, um, all colored. We're gonna stamp sentiment. We're gonna use the embossing in water marking and uh, emboss in white. So again, I'm using my stamping positioning tool. So I'll stamp a few times to make sure that uh, I have nice coverage of that sentiment. So I'm applying the white embossing powder, shaking off the excess and heat setting it. I'm just with brush and remove the excess that was stuck to the algae. Next we are trimming the panel to four by five and a quarter. I'm just trimming off uh, from each side one eighth of an inch. Next I'm using uh, foam squares to adhere the mermaid onto my panel, to my background. I'm using fun foam to adhere to a top folding note card. And I have created a top folding note, note, note card using white cardstock measuring four and a quarter by 11. Then I just scored it at five and a half. So for, uh, to finish off the card, I'm using some sparkle pen to add some details onto the mermaid. And we're done. Thanks for watching and see you soon in another video. Bye.